to show you, you know, if it's in your bathroom and you're shaving, whatever, you know, things, things get in there, but there is oil that has seeped down into here where the disc is supposed to be. So I'm going to clean that out too and hopes that this diffuser is going to work again. Okay, so now I have sprayed some Thieves Cleaner in there in the hopes that uh, we can just soak it a little bit. I'm not going to move it around because I didn't want to get the middle wet because I have the disc out right now and I have this little ring out that I've cleaned. Okay, so I think we're in pretty good shape here. Now listen, if you do this, this is at your own risk. I am just telling you if your diffuser is like done, then you know you really have nothing to lose. But it shouldn't be. This diffuser is like four years old. So, alright, so I've got that, I don't know what that is, but that little ring back in there. Pop this little guy back on there carefully. All right, I'm gonna need both hands to, <laughs> to put this back on. Now, there's a tool that I have, but you can also use a quarter. Okay, so it's like <laughs> diffuser fixing day at my house here. Turn that one off and Gonna put a drop and put like two drops in there because sometimes if you don't have any oil in there too I've noticed that they don't oh man hold on okay I'm gonna turn the top all right so let's see fingers crossed So, oh, there we go. So, with this lighting, you can't see, but it's cooking. It's actually going really good. Let's see if I can get a different color behind there so you guys can see. There we go. Ha ha. See, so all it needed was a good cleaning. I will have a happy customer. Now here's something too. Underneath where my little where my pinky is like moving, um, I vacuum that out because I can't flip this upside down. But underneath, oh, let's see if I can get my phone under there a little bit. You see this? Sometimes that gets clogged up with dust. And here. It's got the, those little like ledges there so that when you sit it down on something, you know, it, it needs to have a little space underneath so that it can, it's got an intake and then it comes out through. Okay, I can't find words, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so I hope that helped you guys to keep your diffusers clean. Right, so we're going to look at the difference in, oh wow, so... This one is diffusing a lot better because it's been cleaned. So I normally don't do this, but I don't want you guys doing it. So I'll do it so you can see. But see, the disc at the bottom, that's what it does, is it makes it bubble around so much and vibrate that it breaks the water up with the essential oils so that it doesn't just plop out. So uh, this one needs to be cleaned because look at the difference. So this is a cleaned one and this is not. So see how it's kind of fighting to come out a little bit? Yeah, it's still working. Just not as much. See the difference? So, this one has not been cleaned as much versus this one that's been maintained very well. And sometimes it also depends on the essential oil in there too.
So some oils are thicker, some oils, you know, break up differently. But yeah, that one's just been cleaned. Okay, so here's the diffuser that hasn't been cleaned yet, and here's an interesting observation. I had grabbed an old um, diffuser cord from the bamboo diffuser, which is the tall white one, the old one, <laughs> and I put the cord that's supposed to be with it from this one, and it's working the way it's supposed to. So. Now after I clean it, it'll work even better, but because I have the correct cord on it that came with it, um, so there's a lesson there.